everything from your banking information to your car and even some refrigerators are on the internet these days. And that means bad guys have a way in. Keeping them out is what brought 40 top students from across the country to Cookville today. Our Rebecca Schleicher gives us an exclusive look inside the first ever cybersecurity boot camp. They say future wars will be fought with keyboards as the primary weapon. And the program at Tennessee Tech is recruiting the students who will defend the U.S. in the future. If you have internet, if you have a VPN, you can do your work. It looks like a regular college lesson. It's not like the Oprah Winfrey show where it's like, you get a job, you get a job, everybody gets a job. Like but take a closer look. The kids in this room are considered the best and brightest in cyber and technology. The hope is they'll become the future leaders of the CIA, NSA, and FBI. Every day it's changing. There's new technologies. Um, the hackers are getting better, but we're also getting better as defenders. Worldwide, in just four years' time, there will be one and a half million cybersecurity jobs with no one to fill them. It's moving so fast that we can't catch up with it. And the first ever cybersecurity boot camp is teaching interview skills, even etiquette. If you're known as the guy that talks a good talk but can't back it up, or the guy that does the black hat stuff on the back end instead of, uh, you know, the white hat hacking, uh, that's going to be known. To connect these kids with high paying jobs in federal agencies. My end goal is to end up in the Army. Either NSA or FBI. It's not something that you're ever going to outsource to China or India because you're not going to outsource the job of defending our nation to a foreign country, right? Within a multi-threaded application. An Android yeah, emulator. That network against a team of real hackers. Who so what is it these guys can do? A, a ransomware program that uh, to kind of get in the, the head of an attacker. A computer application that helped with uh, war simulations. Even speak another language. If seven equals equals index. All right, I think we're good now. Are we ready? To keep American information in American hands as attacks quickly move online. Sky's the limit. There's no limit to how much you can do with it. Thank you very much. Dr. Siraj was invited to the White House twice over the past month to help add computer science programs in grade schools across the country. She says we need a lot more kids going into the industry in the future. Rebecca Schleicher, News Channel 5. They're pretty impressive. The military cyber command says it needs thousands more people with these kind of technical skills to help defend against America's enemies. The average cybersecurity salary is $91,000.